You know, every year people run into a store and leave their kids or their animals in the car in the parking lot. It will kill them. We, we can't get a grip on why people would want to do that. These tragic incidents, they either turn fatal or people don't realize, but a lot of times the fatal injuries that happen, whether it's brain damage, different things like that, that's something the family's going to have to struggle with for the rest of their life. We did a demonstration today that kind of show the tragic effects of leaving a child in a car. We had one of our rescue crews, they arrived on scene and they found the child that was locked in the car and they were unresponsive. These are just very challenging calls that we deal with. But fortunately, again, working for the city of Phoenix, they gave us, they gave us great resources. They gave us great tools. They gave us great training. On this particular incident we had here, we show the fire department ambulance arriving on scene first. All of our ambulances in the city of Phoenix are equipped with firefighters. Uh, when they're all, they're all highly trained, they all have tools on their trucks in the event to perform a rescue. What these firefighters did on the ambulance is they were able to get off the ambulance, they saw the, the type of scenario we had, and they were able to basically break a window and then perform a rescue and initiate treatment on this particular uh, incident here. You know, the worst part of all of this is now your child is on the way to the hospital being rescued by Phoenix Fire, and I'm here putting you in handcuffs, and you don't even get to go to the hospital to see how your child is doing because you're on your way to jail. This is just a stressful call for the families. It's a stressful call for the first responders, the police officers, the firefighters. And then those emergency room doctors who see way too many of these type injuries to our children and the animal EMTs that see these type injuries to our pets. Again, this is prevention here. Um, we're really trying to stress right now that it's getting warmer outside, so it's really, really important that we take into consideration the heat, whether we're hiking the mountains, whether we're watching our children around water, whether we're just outside in the heat. It's incredibly frustrating for us when we go out on calls like this about children or pets being left in cars, period. You know, regardless of whether it's 118 degrees out or 60, it's still neglectful to us. The child and the pet is still being placed in danger. 160, 180 degrees in less than five minutes. That's death. People need to stop, think, and make plans ahead of time or take them in with you.